In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can leverage the new trigger types that are introduced by 517 to easily create playbooks that support the demo we show in the last video. In that video, we show a demo that a owner of a over-provisioned VM uses the power off event to trigger a automatic ticket. The operators approve the ticket and it completes the memory reductions of that VM, send the notification to the VM owners and power on the VM automatically. So let's start with creating a new playbook. Prior to 5.17, we have two types of triggers, alert and a menu. Now we have four more to be introduced by the new release. The alert matching criteria triggers that is specifically designed for to easily to build a rich notification playbooks. Here you can choose the alert policy and multiple alert policy based on the impact type or civilities. Or you can choose a group of uh, alert policy uh, to specifically for a uh, particular notification that you want to have. Once you have that, then you can click the actions of an email, Slack, or any other notification mechanism to create a pretty rich notification process. Another one is the time. This trigger is used for uh, schedule A automation, or you have automation want to happen at a specific time. You can create a recurring events that will trigger those automation uh, based on the schedule defined. And it's pretty handy if, for example, you want to create automation that power on the VM to complete a workload and then power off that after a certain period of time. The webhook is a very powerful trigger that will be used for our second playbook today. It allows any third-party systems, whether it's a ticket system or a customer its own uh, monitoring system to trigger automations in the Prism Pro. Event is also a new trigger type. In the past, we only support alerts, but there are many information that actually captures in different types of events. For example, there's events about a host, whether a new host joining to the clusters or the fail over happens, or the events about the VMs. So we have about 40 events in support in this release. Now in this case, we're showing using the power off event because that is going to trigger an automatic ticket submission uh, process. Once we select the trigger, we're going to add actions. We have uh, 22 actions support in uh, last release, and this time we added three more actions. There's uh, two more actions related to the disk. So now you can add disk automatically to the VM and then expand the disk. We also add actions to allow you to send a alert object with full information of alerts to a webhook to a third party system. So this action will be very handy if you want to connect to any other third party a ticket system or a notification system. So here we'll just select a Slack actions and to send a notification to the VM owners. Then we'll select a uh, action that would do submit a ticket. In this case, I'm using the clone functions in the action gallery to create a customized REST API call. And that's pretty much it. So after you enable that, next time you power off the VMs, you will automatically send out a ticket to your ticket systems. Now let's very quickly go through how you can create the second playbook where the operator can use the third party system to automatically trigger automation in Prism Pro. Second playbook leverage the trigger type webhook. And the webhook trigger type will create a webhook signatures that anybody can call in. You can pass in multiple strings and integers and entities. 
So let's see how we can create the similar playbook very quickly. So you can see it's very easy to create playbooks by using the class play as well as leverage the signals we generate by machine learning. This is a very short tutorial. I highly encourage you to get a 517, experience it by yourself, and try to see how many of your operation tasks can be automated very easily to leverage the class play as well as the class fit machine learning in Prism Pro. The best way to understand Prism Pro is to experience yourself. Please reach out your account team for a bootcamp on Prism Pro, or you can sign up on Nutanix.com to get a test drive. And if you already have uh, a Prism Central console in your environment, please leverage your Prism Pro trial license.